Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn to create a formula in Salesforce that calculates the last activity date. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Classic as well as the Lightning experience. So let's proceed and firstly understand what does we mean by the last activity date formula. So you all know that in Salesforce, generally we can, we can do two kinds of activities. Either we can create a record or we can modify the record. So for the last activity days, we have to track the last time the record was modified or created. So for this, we need to utilize the two predefined fields that is the last modified date and the create date of a Salesforce object. And in return, it will display you the last modified or a creation date and time of the activity or a record. So let's proceed and learn this concept for the Salesforce Lightning with the help of example. So here I open my Salesforce account in a Lightning experience and I am on my main homepage setup. And here we have object manager option on the top of a navigation bar. So I click on it. After clicking it, it shows me all the objects that are available in Salesforce. And now it's time to decide on which object you want to determine the last activity date. So for giving you an example, I will uh, show you the scenario of the contact object. So I have searched the contact in a quick find box and here I click on the contact label. Now it's redirect to the page where we have on the left side fields and relationship options. So I click on it and after clicking it, it opens up a field and relationship page and on the right side on the first option we have a new button. So I click on it as we are going to create a new field for creating a formula. After that it asks me to choose up the field type in which you want to create the your record so as we are creating a formula we have to select the formula by setting up selecting up of the radio button next to it then i click on the next button and proceed to the next step now it's time to enter the field label for the formula so i enter the field label label as a last date and when i click on the field name it automatically populated now by scrolling down it shows me a uh, section of a formula return type. It's time to choose the return type for the formula. So here we are going to choose the date one. So now click on the next button to move to the next step. In this step now we have to enter the formula. So for entering the formula if we need some functions we will select it from the functions category that is located on the right side and for the operators we will use this insert operator drop down and for inserting up the fields, I use this insert field button. So now I enter up my formula that calculates the last activity date for the contact. So here I up enter up my formula. Now I explain you in this formula. Firstly, I check that the last modified date and the created date fields are not blank using the is blank function. So here I am using the is blank function and is blank function. And uh, I use the not with this to check it that it is not black okay after that if the last modified date is not blank the formula returns the value for the last modified date and otherwise if it is blank it checks that the created date field is not blank and the formula return the created date by using the if statement and if both the fields are blank, if both the if statements are false, it will redirect uh, to this null return. It returns the null. So now it's time to check whether it is correct or not. So I click on the check syntax button. It shows that there is no syntax error. If you want to add description or help text, you can add it. Even you can handle the blank fields. And after that, I click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now in this next step, I have to choose up the field level security. Here we have to choose the profile to whom we grant the edit access of this field. So I want to grant the edit access of this field to all the profiles. So I simply click the visible checkbox that is located on the top. Then I click on the next button and proceed to the next step. And in this step, I have to choose the page layout. It means uh, the page layout uh, is the page where we want to include this field. So uh, here are some by default pages. Uh, which are already selected so if you want to unselect some of some of them you can unselect it but i remain this setting as it is and click on the save button so with this we have success 
so with this we have successfully created up the formula that checks the activity last date of the contact object now it's time to check whether it is working or not for this i move to the app launcher from here i search for the contacts so here i am going to randomly open up an account and move to its details section and here you can see that when i scroll down to the end it has a field with the name last activity date and here you can see that its last activity date is shown as a 18th of 7 2023 so with this we have successfully learned that how to create a formula that checks the last with this we have successfully learned that how to create a formula for the last activity date in salesforce lightning so now we will also learn this concept for the salesforce classic so firstly we have to shift to the classic edition for this you have to click on your profile and here we have a button of a switch to a salesforce classic if you are already on a classic then you have to ignore this step and simply click on this setup option that is located on the top so now let's move to the classic setup now scroll down and move to the build section on the left side and here on the left side we have a customized drop down and in under this customized drop down we have multiple objects that are available in salesforce now it's time to choose an object in which you want to apply the formula for the calculating the last activity date now this time i will show you example for leads so i click on the leads drop down and from here i click on the fields option so after clicking it we have to scroll down and move to the last of the page and here we have a section with the name lead custom fields and relationship so now click on the new as we are going to create a new field and now it's time to choose the field type which store the information according to you so we are going to create a formula so i have selected the formula by clicking up the radio button next to it and click on the next button to move to the next step so now it's time to add up the field name so here i add the field name as a lead activity date and when i click on the field name it automatically populated now when i scroll down it has a section for, for selecting up the formula return type so i select the formula return type as a date and click on the next button to proceed to the next step now it's time to enter up the formula for calculating the last date for the lead activity so i will enter up my formula so here i am using some of the function like if function and i am going to use this function from this function section i need some operators so i will uh, use this operator from this insert operator drop down and for inserting up the field i use this insert field uh, button and from here i will select the field name as a last modified id and created by id so now let's enter me the formula so here i enter my formula now i explain you basically in this formula first i check that the last modified by id field is not null if it is we return the last modified id date and otherwise the formula checks that the created uh, by id field is not null so if it is true it return the created date if both the fields uh, means the last modified id and the created by id are null we return the null as a value so now to check whether it is true or not i simply click on the check syntax button located on a downside of the box where we have entered the formula you can also add a description or a help text or handle the uh, blank fields if you want these are the optional options uh, after that you have to click on the next button and to proceed to the next step so now in this step you have to choose up the field level security profiles for giving these profile uh, added access so now in this step you have to choose up the field level security you have to select up the profiles to whom you want to grant the edit access of the field so uh, i want to give the access to all the profile i simply click on the visible check box that is located on the top and click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in this step you have to choose the page layouts in which you want to include this field by default the pay, all the page layouts are already selected if you want to unselect some of them you can do uh, but i remain this step as it is and click on the save button so after clicking up the save button you successfully create the formula that calculates the last day of, of the lead object now it's time to check whether it is working or not so i click on the plus tab that is given on the navigation bar and now it 
I search for the leads object here I search and I open one of the lead now I am going to open a random lead and here you can see that when I scroll down here I have a field with the name lead activity date and it's dated as a second of 7th month 2023 here you can see that it is created on a 22nd of 6 2023 and last modified by the 22nd of 7 2023 so it will give you the last activity date as a last modified one because it is modified later on and created before it was modified so it will give the lead activity date as a second of July 2023. So with this we have learned to create a formula for the last activity date in Salesforce Classic also. So if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.